The KMT is protesting the government's decision to lift a decade-old Fukushima food ban. The executive yuan announced the decision on Tuesday, saying that food imports from five Japanese prefectures will be allowed once again as early as this month. In response, the KMT announced plans to boycott the Premier's upcoming policy address at the Legislative Yuan. On Wednesday, the Premier condemned the KMT, saying that it was opposing for the sake of opposing. He said the party was hindering Taiwan's progress on the international stage. At a conference on net zero agriculture, Taiwan's premier and agriculture chief made a joint appearance. They were asked about the government's decision to lift a blanket ban on food imports from five Japanese prefectures. The move has prompted an outcry from the KMT, which vowed to boycott the premier's administrative report at the legislature. The KMT is stuck in its old ways. All they know is reacting emotionally, opposing for the sake of opposing. They are hindering the progress of our country. Premier Su called on the KMT not to hold Taiwan back from the tides of progress. DPP caucus whip Ke Jianming slammed the opposition party on Facebook. He said it was engaging in hostility for the sake of hostility, moving down the deep blue path to end up as just another box of rebellion. Taiwan voted to keep the ban three years ago in a referendum. If we want to resume imports, we should hold another referendum. Currently in Taiwan, only three special municipalities have the equipment needed to test for radioactivity. Local councils can ask their city and county governments to purchase this kind of equipment. Allowing these food imports from five Japanese prefectures, including Fukushima, will mean that the total number of tested products will go up by 8,000 items a year. There will be more than 20,000 items a year. There are six labs that can carry out such tests. Each lab has a capacity of up to 7,000 tests per year, so there are no problems in that regard. The Minister of Agriculture vowed that there was sufficient capacity for conducting radiation tests on food imports. Premier Su Zhenchang stressed that lifting the blanket ban would be beneficial for Taiwan's bid to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Trans-Pacific Partnership. It shows the member nations Taiwan's determination and willingness to abide by international norms. This will be of huge help for our bid to join the CPTPP. Before, we were like a ship moored to the pier, unable to set sail. Taiwan's borders will open to the imports as early as this month, but it could be a long while yet before an end to the political row.